Hey, are you looking to get bigger arms? Well, there's five exercises that you need to try. Hey, sometimes you just gotta screw around and just have fun with this whole exercise thing. Hey, Coach Brian right here, criticalbench.com. Thanks for watching. Arm day, triceps, don't forget about training these things here. You know, these are, they're good and they're important, but these things right here, the triceps on the back of your arms, you gotta train them. Five exercises to use using the cable crossover machine. If you only have access to this machine, that's good because you can actually get an incredible arm workout using these five exercises. Let's start off with this thing right here. This is the rope. I love using the ropes for uh, triceps. High overhead extension, so start here. Doesn't matter which leg it is out in front. Slightly lean forward, keep those elbows up, pinned in, extend. Now at, at, when you fully extend, bring the hands out just a little bit. All the movement is gonna be coming from those elbows. Nice, slow and controlled. If you wanna switch up halfway, it doesn't matter really. Elbows stay up, elbows stay in. Pull apart at the top. There you go. Flip right on around. This one, elbows pinned by your side. Slight forward lean so you can get a fuller, uh, a greater extension. Ex pull apart, return back to neutral. Right there. Now, some people might say you don't wanna go all the way up here, you wanna stop here so there's constant tension on it. I always say get a full range of motion in everything you do. Because when you're here, you get an actually a good little tricep stretch. You, you are releasing the contraction a little bit, but when you're here, you're not allowing the tricep to fully relax. Very simple. Still using the same attachment. Slide out one way right here. We're gonna go to a single arm bent over extension. So you might need to lighten the, the weight up a little bit because you're, again, you're going to one arm right here. Lean forward a little bit more. You can place this other hand on your waist or it doesn't matter. Elbows pinned to your side, extend down. Now this one you're able to extend a little bit further back just because you have a little bit more freedom to do this movement. I personally like this one because you feel a good, good burn in all three parts of the tricep head. In, you know, the whole, whole tricep is being worked on that one. So this is what it looks like from this side, right here. So three simple exercises using the cable crossover machine right here. We're not done yet. I just like this exercise, so I'm gonna knock out a few more reps. Good. So for number, number four, single hand extension. This one's a cross body. Same thing, you wanna make sure the resistance is light enough where you can complete your reps. So this one you're going, you're starting up high right here like a bicep curl and then all of a sudden you're gonna go down and away from the body. So it's a reverse cross body curl. Don't forget to visualize in your mind that tricep contracting. Slow and controlled right here. All the way up, all the way down. Now what you don't wanna do is shrug that shoulder up and keep that shoulder shrugged up. You wanna relax that shoulder down and away from the body. I also notice my wrists. I'm not curling my wrists here. Keep my wrist locked. You're gonna be your strongest when everything is working together. All right, last one. Straight bar press downs. So adjust the, the arm, grab a straight bar. A little bit different on this one. This one is gonna be a reverse grip. So obviously you start in this position here, if you need to add some more weight, which most likely you'll have to, because this is, you're gonna be pretty strong in this. Palms up, grab the bar, get in position. Now you wanna walk a little bit away from the attachment. You wanna get constant tension. If you're right underneath it, you're, you're gonna probably not have enough clearance, but you're gonna, you're gonna kind of do a disservice with this because the way the, the pulley is set up, it's just gonna allow for the tension to be not, not in your favor. So scoop away from the machine a little bit. Elbows pinned back, chin tucked in. Lean forward a tiny bit, extend. Right there. Now you might not feel as great or as strong as a contraction of a pump 
as this one compared to like the overhead or the rope, that's okay because you're hitting a different part of the tricep. Still a great exercise to use, but I, I wouldn't necessarily just use this by itself. I would use a combination of all five of these moves to really get a complete arm pump and to really finish off those triceps. So there you go, hopefully you found this video helpful. If you did, I need you to do a few things real quick. Give it a thumbs up, share with somebody you know, leave me a comment, but also subscribe to our channel and click the notification bell. I want you to stay up to date with what we've got, so please do that. And to make it easy, here's the subscribe button, click it now. And hey, another workout, enjoy it. Click this box to watch this video. Free workout, click this box, download this free workout right now. That's it. I'm Coach Brian here with Critical Bench. We'll see you next time.